Hello beautiful Cancerians, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. Cancer, let's look at the energy of you and your lover in the recent past. Something came to an end, or there's a recognition that something has to change dramatically. But we have this beautiful Aries energy, Queen of Wands, creation. Queen of Wands is all about the magic of starting something new, passionate, a good person who, you know, that both of you really felt this amazing desire to create with one another. The death card is can be a neutral card in that we don't know what it means yet. So let's take a look and see what it is about the Queen of Wands that would have ended. What happens? Why is a death card with the Queen of Wands as a clarifier? Ah, five of coins. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is you're coming into this reading, Cancer, in a, in a situation in the recent past in which you feel left out in the cold. Your person feels left out in the cold because this is mutual energy. Now, it could be that the two of you were forced to be apart, but I'm getting maybe that one of you moved away. This looks COVID-related or pandemic-related, but... Um, Let's keep going here in the reading because this does not look like it is something that either of you really wanted. This doesn't look like sort of an independent decision or action that was taken. We do get the Seven of Wands and Sideways coming in here. Both of you are in this energy of wanting to, fit, to defend the relationship. Whatever it is that is happening here, and I do think what this means is that somebody has to return to the past to exit another relationship is how I'm reading this. So what we see is both of you are very much in this energy that you need to defend what you have right now, that you created a beautiful future for yourself with this person. The Three of Wands energy is definitely Aries energy, so we have that yet again. And the Seven of Wands is Leo energy, meaning that both of you feel very much like you want to protect this energy of creation between the two of you. We have the King of Swords here, and the King of Swords is Aquarius energy, very detached very analytical, cold, cool, calm, collected. This also is, though, can be a surgeon. It can be somebody who has to use their intellect to heal someone. So for some of you, you may be dealing with someone in the healing professions, somebody who can stay very sort of scientific and very, you know, very firmly intellectual and not get caught up in the emotion even though there's healing that has to go on. So your person definitely feels as there, there has to be healing. For some of you, you may be married to this person. For others, you may have started a relationship out of the blue, enthusiastically, not thinking that anything would come of it. And it looks as though the two, it looks as though both of you fell in love and it may cause a break in a different relationship. And that's what I'm seeing here. So the energy would be, it's a couple of different stories here. For some of you, you're married, you're ending, you ended the relationship and you're trying to make it work again. You're trying to heal the relationship. For others of you, you met when somebody was separated, they went back to their person to try to make it work while telling you, I'll be back probably, but... So there would have been a reconciliation with an old person. And then now they're coming back to you again and trying to heal the wound that was caused by leaving the relationship. A little complicated. So if you do have any questions, make sure that you ask them in the comments below. And I'll try to explain or clarify the storyline for those who don't understand that there, we have multiple stories going. Cancer, here you are in your reading. You want to invest in your person. Your, your lover sees you as marriage material. This is Taurus energy. 
This person wants to heal your relationship and make a commitment. That's how they view the situation. They view it, the situation that way right now. They want this future with you. You are their ships have come in. You, they want to defend that position. When we look at this energy, they feel very passionately towards you. This is Sagittarius energy. They want to invest in you. And here you are, honey, I'm home. It's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful energy. This is, it, this is the emperor who drives the chariot. So we have Aries, Aries, Aries energy. Sagittarius taking that chance. Make a little love. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. It's exciting what's happening between the two of you. The Magician card is the energy for you that your person is trying to manifest a reunion, getting together with you, spending time with you. They feel as though you are their best friend. They love you. Cups are love. This is Virgo and Gemini energy. Your person wants to be very clear with you that they intend to marry you. The Four of Wands is the bride and groom dancing under the garland and the rider weight. The Ace of Swords is clarity, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do feel very much, Cancer, that... I'm not seeing cards of deception here. So for those of you who may have been started a relationship, this person may have felt that they were compelled with this Leo energy to go back and try to make a marriage that hadn't been working work again. Um, I don't see deception. So that I really love that coming into this reading. I'm not seeing any cards of trickery or deception there. The energy that is taking place that is hidden between the two of you is this energy of Pisces moon. Both of you have a huge fear that one of you is going to walk away from the relationship. So right now it also shows that for some of you, you will be in separation while someone perhaps goes back to try to make a marriage that wasn't working work or to come back and be with you to see if it'll work. However, that story plays out, it'll be different for everyone. Spirit is saying that as far as a reconciliation goes, if you're a person that that is experiencing this decision about reconciliation. Spirit is saying, yes, make the choice to reconcile. Temperance card, the angel, the angel of balance. Reconciliation is, um, Spirit is saying, you know, don't get too caught up in other choices. And your outcome is really exquisite. It is Leo energy. We also have Leo energy here with the strength card. This is Leo energy again. We have the sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is your outcome. The six of wands. That is, that's winning in the game of life, winning at love. We have a new beginning here for you. So the energy that I'm getting for most of you, Cancer, is that this is a relationship that started quickly, was interrupted very early in the relationship, Somebody had to go back and do, do their due diligence to a situation, and now they are returning to you. It could be you, Cancer. You could have been the one that went through this process. And I really want to elaborate here. Oftentimes, as a professional psychic, I get calls from clients who say, I met so-and-so on a dating site. They were in the process of divorce. Things were going great. We were off to a great start. Their ex reached out to them. Would they have children with that ex? So they felt that they had to go back and work on the relationship. So now what's going to happen? Donna. <laughs> so what I'm seeing for you, if that is your question, Cancer, is that your person does what they are quote unquote supposed to do. They pull out all the stops to try to make a relationship work. For those, of the, for those of you who experience uh, a marriage, it looks like you will reconcile. For those of you who are the other person 
you're going to reconcile. So it's a very interesting reading. Take it as it resonates because there are two separate storylines which are somewhat different. But when we look at this Pisces card, we have Neptune and Pisces right now. But we're really seeing um, a beautiful relationship of great happiness, of great joy. One in which both of you, you have a lot of major arcanas here. You have the chariot, so that's you, Cancer. You know, you have this beautiful energy of the strength. You have the hierophant. You have the magician. You have temperance, the sun the Fool card. So it really is quite a gorgeous reading. Let's see what, yep, here we go. I felt drawn to, to pull one more card and look at this. You have never been happier, Cancer. This is Pisces energy. So Pisces energy is actually clarifying that you go from the Eight of Cups, somebody does walk away from a home situation, and this is clarifying the outcome, the Nine of Cups. So let's see what your what the ancients and ancestors have to say about this in terms of oracle advice, spirit advice. I do want to let everyone know that I am starting a an astrology series about love. If you'd like to learn some basic astrology so that you can read the chart, your chart, and the chart of someone that you meet for new love. Please join me for that series along with updates on new moons and love life astrology as well as some career and other astrology about money. All right. Guardian Angel, you are not alone. And look at this. When we look at temperance, we have the Guardian Angel of Stability. Okay. You are not alone, Cancer. Beautiful. All right. We have two cards. Exchange energy to create abundance. Wonderful. And trust and thrive. So again, I really love this energy for you. I just see two people who are really open, really honest, really forthright. And your love has is looking as though it's in a very beautiful place. It's very enduring. You've gone through some times that have not been that easy to come out really in this beautiful energy. Sending you love from Chicago, Cancer. Send some back. Tell me where you're from in the comments. And namaste. Take care. Bye-bye.